Hi, um, today I'm going to be doing just a quick little tutorial to how to make curved edges on this thing. Um, so the first thing you want to do uh, is scale it, just make it like a larger kind of part to make it slightly easier. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to get another block here also um, make it bigger as well doesn't really need to be an exact size but you can do what you want um, next you're gonna add a cylinder um, make it a big cylinder uh, here we are all right and then what you're going to do is all right, rotate it like that. Hold on, is that correct? Is it? Why is that like that? Hold on. Uh, that's... Is that it? There we go. No, I'm gonna just delete that and put that back in again. Because that is weird. Alright. Don't know why it was like that. Uh, I must have changed it for something that I wanted to do. Um, Alright, here we are. This is fine. So you need to make sure that um, it's bigger than that. So like some like this, where it goes through the top and the bottom of the part. So next thing you're going to do, um, hold on. So you're going to go right click it and press negate. I know you probably can't see that because the recording software is super messed up, but when you right click it you're just gonna go down to the options and one of the options is gonna be negate. So you're gonna click that, um, then you're gonna highlight both of them and now you're gonna once again right click it and press union this time. Now you've just done this, made a block with a bite taken out of it. Now what you're going to do, go over to here, and hold on, is that there, whatever, and then do the exact same thing, except, wait, remember, uh, must be bigger than the thing, yes, there we are, much better, not much better, hold on. Is that? Um, that's kind of it. Hold on. There. There we are. And it is not through the bottom. Oh my gosh. Alright. Okay. Here is... Yeah, that'll work. Alright. So, what you're going to do now, do the same thing. Wait, no, you should duplicate this three times. Two and three. So now there's going to be three of them. Just to not have to remake it again. So now what you're going to do, you're going to highlight it. Or right click on the part with the bite taken out of it. And once again, negate it. Wrong part. All right. This one, negate, and then you're going to highlight them both, if that's, alright, there we are, then union, there is your first curved edge, it's not perfect, but it works, you can make it better if you want to, just trim it down, I guess, um, so yeah, 
Hold on, I'm gonna just do this a few more times. Um, here we are. Hold on here. Is this right? There. And, okay, that should be good for that one. Um, once again, negate and union, just like that, if I can do this correctly. There we are. That's two. Um, where are we here? Now do that again on this side. This is going to be like kind of a cylinder because, okay, that's not right. There we go. It's going to be kind of a cylinder because I didn't make the original part the right size. But we're just going to roll with it because I don't feel like remaking this. Um, again, negate and oh my god. Union. There we are. There's that, um, yeah, and then here we are, have the last one, rotate it again for the final time, and just gonna go over to here, um, hold on here, there we go, and there, is that gonna, yeah, that's, there, that'll work. Then last time negate and union. All right, so there you have it. You've got a nice whatever this is. Um, you can definitely change the size of the part which you make the curve with um, to make it like less of a curve or like you can also change the original part to make it like a different shape with curved edges but yeah it um this is one of the methods i'm not sure of any other ones i just know this one uh but yeah there's your part i guess um let me just put this down back to there you go nice little circle thing all right that's it thanks for watching and goodbye